Eric has built a real four-star course here this year. The first few fences, as usual, are very big, but they're very galloping, easy, relatively straightforward. If you think three foot eleven by six foot six wide is straightforward, the first four or five efforts are easy. The real problems, I think, are going to start at number 6AB, the new coffin. What you'll notice here in these films is that the approach by the white flag is very narrow, which requires a lot of accuracy. And then behind, as you can see, first of all, there's quite a drop there. And that, that's disconcerting to horse and rider because it's, it's a blind drop. They can't really see how big the drop is until the horse commits himself. And then, as you can see here from the, from the footage, the, the ditch is not marked this year. So this is a coffin without being a coffin because if you proceed on a straight line, you land, you gallop down, you gallop back up, and you jump another narrow brush, very big, very narrow, but it's all on a straight line. Now the tricky part, I've already mentioned, is the drop is blind. And so horses are going to, they're going to change their stride, they're going to change their mind. And that's going to make riders lose their confidence, lose their concentration. And then I think this is more subtle. When the horses land, they're going to see the ditch and they're going to tend to pop their left shoulder because the ditch will be on their right side and they're going to just spook from it a little bit. It's going to be minor and almost imperceptible but it's a big deal because the only line that works through there is absolutely straight. So I think here at 6A and B, you're going to see some very sketchy riding from riders who look like a million bucks just a few seconds before that. And suddenly, this fence is going to say to them, welcome to Rolex.